Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm back with another Subnautica video. Yes, Subnautica, the undersea survival game. But today, what I'm going to be doing is, is using a small personnel mobile device, as you can see here, the Sea Glide, which I created by farming materials and creating other items, to go and find an island, upon which I've been reliably informed by the YouTube community there are parts to make a habitat. Now, this is quite exciting because we get A, to go onto dry land and not go into the sea all the time, and B, you get to make a base. It's about base building and survival. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head on over to this island and you can find this via the geological data that is in your escape pod. Um, so you gotta go through all the notes and you can see on this little sea glide that I've got here, it's got a topographical map that you can generally follow to scan the forward terrain. Now, it's quite easy to go and find this island. Effectively, what you have to do is get to your escape pod. Once on your escape pod, look around and find the big honking great big ship. Then turn directly behind you so we want 180 degrees and you'll see this lump of cloud right on the horizon that's where the island's gonna be so visually if you keep that directly ahead of you get off into that water get your little skidoo on the go and travel towards that you'll be fine and you'll eventually come across an island and it, it's not too far away you know it's there anyway do me a favor if you haven't done so and like what you're seeing hit that subscribe and like button and also the notification icon and i'll let you know when i'm putting more videos of subnautica and other games on youtube so with all that out the way now make sure you've got a little bit of food and a little bit of water on your journey right you may run out Yes, no one wants to run out of food, no one wants to run out of water. My advice is, get yourself in there and get some of that distilled water. Because you get more for your, um, for your inventory slots. Now the reason why I say that, you're going to get to that island and you're going to find loads of things. When I say loads of things, you're going to find plants. You're going to find items to pick up. And you don't want to be lacking, right? in inventory space if you're carrying an awful lot of stuff with you that you've picked up along the way and you're going to miss out on that opportunity. So you see, I've stocked up on water, I've got a first aid kit in case of any nasties, don't get caught short, and very shortly, as you'll see, that island will pop up on the horizon. Now it's not big, it's not huge, but it is going to give you the opportunity of keeping your feet dry even temporarily and you can see there it is it's it's for some reason floating on on the surface and as we get near you can see these massive buoyancy organisms that are underneath it keeping the entire thing afloat now i haven't tried destroying these with any type of tool because i haven't got any type of tool that will do that but it's quite a nice it's quite a nice sort of like thing to see within the game, a nice transition. You know, how did that island get there? Is it a big pile of rock? No, because it goes down quite deep. But yes, there's floaty things keeping it afloat. Now, as soon as you get on you, be very careful because there's going to be some critters that are wandering around. And these critters wandering around, they're going to try and cause you a little bit of harm. Hence, I've got my first aid kit. So make sure before you've left your life, pad, your life pod, you've stocked up on some food, you've got loads of water, you don't want to get dehydrated, you don't want to get caught short, be hungry. Get on there and get scanning all these plants. Plants are going to be very important because when you go back and you pick up additional titanium at this stage, you can be able to sort of like get a habitat. Once you get a habitat, you'll start to grow stuff in grow beds. Now all these items are here to find on this island. You can be able to find observatories, habitation pods, um, tubes, PDAs, and obviously all these shrubs that will glow, go, grow, grow even, um, either on an internal bed or an external flower bed. Now, there are three structures to go and find. There's one in the center of the two mountain peaks, 
and one structure on both of the mountain peaks. When you get there, scan all those items, okay? You're going to find more items than you thought actually existed, which I think is actually quite good, to be perfectly honest with you. You're going to want to have to do a real thorough search. Um, and especially with that flower bed, you can see in the picture of picture, you've got melons, you've got potato plants, things you can eat straight away or things you can take back and then use in any flower beds that you've, you've made. Now, look at this. You've got to start scanning these habitation modules, getting those blueprints. So when you get back to your life pod, you can start building these things with all the stored up titanium that you have and you're going to need titanium you're going to need quartz you're going to need spines to make enameled glass all this sort of stuff so be prepared you're going to come back and forth to this island this island's going to be i think in my opinion your home away from home um and a good sort of of items okay make sure you explore it all uh make sure you pick up all the the pads as well now at the end of this video the pads that i've collected i've included the audio logs for which if you don't want any spoilers be fair i'll put a warning up before we get to the logs so that if you want to hear them for yourself in game and you want to go ahead and see them for yourself in game then you can listen to the story that these logs tell so i will put up a spoiler warning so don't worry about that so yes, the observatory is very important. Make sure you scan all that. And be aware that you are going to get attacked by these sort of like alien face huggery sort of things with a big, big mouth on it. You're also going to find storage test chests. Bleh, chests. Can't speak today. I don't know what it is. So you're going to find these storage chests. And as you can see there, you're also going to find PDAs littered around. Explore everywhere collect everything but don't hang about because as soon as you collect these food items they're going to start to decompose they only have a finite life lifespan so you need to get back to a habitat that you've built and start planting these seeds so you have a bit of a renewable food source other than just fish fish is fine i'm not against fish but you may want something a bit else probably in the melon or potato variety so be very aware of this scan the lock stock the lot so there you go for those of you who don't want any spoilers and don't want to listen to the logs um i'm gonna put a spoiler warning up very shortly for those of you who've got so far with the video and have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching and check back for more videos in the series i've been ricardo this has been subnautica and thanks for watching so this is the spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert here's the log Send. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider. But I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? You know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what it tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside, in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? 
None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. So if you stuck with it through the logs, thanks very much for watching and watching this extended part of the video. Check out for more in the series. See you soon.